So it's been said that anyone can have a great wedding, but not everyone can have a great marriage. I want to encourage you to continue to build into your marriage each day, remembering, always remember what brought you here. I think too many couples kind of forget that. But the fact that you saw the best in each other, that you practice compassion, generosity, and unconditional love. Christina, from the moment we met, I knew there was something special about you. For once in my life, I was right. John, you are my dream come true and the man of my dreams. I'm the world's luckiest girl to have an amazing guy like you. Not only are you the most beautiful, thoughtful, caring, big-hearted person I know. Words can't describe how blessed I am by God to have you come into my life. I'm excited to have this amazing journey ahead of us. You are truly an incredible person. I feel blessed and grateful every day to be with somebody as special as you. I promise to be the best wife I can be to our future kids and fur babies. John, you're my once in a lifetime. You are my favorite partner in crime. I love you. Love never quits, never loses faith, always hopeful, endures through every circumstance. Love will last forever. Three things that will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Father God, uh, as John and Christina dedicate themselves to each other and to you, I pray that the love between them grows sweeter and sweeter with the passing of the years. May they always trust in each other, and in perfect confidence, may they trust in you. God, I pray that Jesus Christ will reign in their life first, and that their marriage will thrive. And I pray that the laughter will ring from their home each and every day. So for as much as John and Christina have agreed together according to the teachings of Scripture and the laws of the state of Connecticut, I, as minister of the gospel, declare they are husband and wife. Let no one split apart what God has joined together. You may kiss the bride.